Claire Gilbrand is head of the Saab Cars Engine Laboratory. Tell us, please, how the exhaust-driven turbocharger works. A turbocharger consists mainly of two parts, one turbine and one compressor unit. In the turbine, a turbine wheel is spun by the exhaust gas and connected through, through this shaft, it also spins a compressor wheel, a similar wheel in the compressor unit, which sucks air from the outside and delivers air under pressure into the inlet manifold of the engine and thus increases the power of the engine. Thereby increasing the amount of air and fuel in the engine in a way which would not be possible were the engine breathing normally. But how does the turbine know when to cut in? The turbine doesn't really know when to cut in. The exhaust gas is all the time spinning the turbine wheel. But at a certain load or power of the engine, the compressor wheel is increasing the pressure of the intake manifold and therefore the power increase comes automatically. And of course the amount of exhaust gas is increased simply by pressing down on the accelerator pedal so the additional power from the supercharger comes in exactly when the driver requires it. But now what happens if you get too much exhaust gas? That is one of the problems when turbocharging a petrol engine and our solution here is a bypass valve which automatically controls the power of the engine. We are bypassing the exhaust gas so that the inlet manifold pressure is kept constant at a desired level. How important do you think is this arrangement for the future? Before we used to make bigger engines when we wanted to increase the performance or to keep the performance of a car. But we don't believe that that is possible in the future when we have to meet requirements of both fuel economy and emission control. We are convinced that our way to use wasted energy in, in the engine and to bring that back through this turbocharger and increase the efficiency of the engine is one of the few possibilities we have to meet all the requirements in the future. And this is the first engine of its kind in the world? Our U.S. version of this engine, which uses a lambda sensor to control the exhaust emissions of the engine and a turbocharger to improve the performance of the car and to improve the fuel economy of the engine, is the first, first of its kind we know about that meets all the requirements. Thank you, Grant. Congratulations, and thank you very much indeed.